What's up guys, it's um Party Kid back at it again with another video. Hey <laughs> guys, I'm just looking around my room like my shoes. I know the back of my room is dirty. I'm trying to clean up because we better go to Africa guys. Like I'm being like so serious. June 3rd is our last day in America and we just like you know staying like in Jacksonville then early tomorrow, early that morning on June 4th, we're going to um going straight 9 a.m. to Orlando, stay in the airport, and once uh, they call our flight, we're on that flight, I'm taking video of everything that happens on there. And guys, this is, this is going to be a fun summer, guys. I'm saying the entire summer in Africa, I'm probably going to leave early so I can try for football for my middle school team, and probably I'm going to make it. That's why I know, because I've been working real hard for this. And guys, today my video is to show you my shoe collection. So I guess let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm starting off with these I'm starting off with the Puma section first. So guys, I have these um Puma Ignite or something. Ignite something. I see I saw those in like one of uh, Puma's um Puma's Instagram uh posts with uh, I think uh the weekend and I saw these and they, I think those were them and I had I, I just had a cop these were 95 but I got them on sale for like, like 97 like 87 dollars and um these are a size 9 Let's see they're a size 9 I got these I think Pumas I think they have a store I don't, I don't know I got it somewhere but I did got I did get these in like a shoe store. But um yeah these are the Pumas. Here's the other pair right here. Never been worn. Like when I say guys I have not never been worn before. Cause like I don't wanna get these dirty and stuff. But these are really nice shoes to be honest with you. So yeah. These are um the Puma Egg Knights. These are actually pretty fire to be honest. These are actually pretty comfortable. Like if you like put your like like your finger in, it feels comfortable and stuff. But you know, I think this is this is probably gonna be worth. No, this is good for uh, ninety-five dollars, ninety-four, ninety-nine. But you know, so yeah, these are the Pumas, and uh, yeah, Pumas. We gonna do the suicide, like suicide or something. I don't know, but, uh, these are the Pumas, like, pretty popular ones. Um, these are, like, all, like, like, all red right here, and then the white bottoms. These have been worn by me before, um, for one day. I haven't really, I don't really wear, like, these Pumas, like, them, like, Jordans and stuff. And, um, you can see the Puma logo on the back, Puma, uh, name back here. And you see, like, Puma sound with, like, I think... Jaguar or something. I don't know that, but um, you see a little uh, stripe right here, laces. I tied these by myself. I think I did a good job. Um, and then you got like, like silver um, silver uh, logo right here. And guys, these um, these were like a nice shoe to wear. To be honest with you, everybody called them dry and stuff. But to be honest, I like these. I have another pair just like these, but I don't really wear them like that because you know. I already have this pair, so I'll wear the other one. But yeah, here's the um, here's the Pumas, the red velvet, I can say, or velvet Pumas. And then you have like I have this is the other pair. Like I was about to tie them, and then like I just gave up. So here's the other pair. And um, next yeah. shoe, I have the Vans checkered. Um, these were I got them from the van store in a uh, town center, Jacksonville, when uh, the van store first opened. Um, these are, um, these were $80, something like that, $65. I got them on sale. Um, I, most of my shoes I got them on sale. But um, here they are. I wore these a lot. You know, they got dirty real quick. But I'm about to clean them later. Um, don't run in these. Like I'm telling you guys, if you guys buy these, these are actually nice though, but if you buy these, they will crease real easy. Cause you see right here, 
I had ran in them and they had creased like real quick. They're not crease crease because like right here like a soft part of it. But yeah, they're creased. Um, yeah, they are creased. And most of the time you're gonna buy like a white uh, stripe right here. Mine came in black for some reason. I don't know why. But you know, it came it came in this box. So I'm gonna show you. I get it. Um, this is the box that came in. Alright, so next shoe, these were the first shoe I've ever bought in Foot Locker, actually. The Roshi ones. Um, these shoes, these shoes are so beat up. If you like see right here, like you have a hole right in them. These shoes are so beat up, but I love Roshis, to be honest. I would buy so many Roshis. Like, you don't understand. Like, these are like probably my favorite running shoes ever. Because, like, you see, inside is so soft. Like, I've worn these so much in back in fifth grade. I wear these over and over again. These are a size seven. Oh yeah, and these Vans, these were a size nine. And then uh, Pumas, these were a size nine. And then this was a size size nine. So guys, these are the Roshi ones. These are so beat up. Like I'm saying, I wear these when I first got them. I wear them every single day. Like you guys, I don't even understand. I wear these so much. I love them, they're comfortable, I can run in them, and they don't crease like other shoes do, and you see they're dirty, I haven't washed them in a minute, but I'm taking these to Africa, probably gonna give them to some kid, but yeah, um, there's the Russian ones. Next shoe guys, these were my favorite KDs, like, I'm being so serious, these are my only KDs actually, you know, I don't really like KDs like that, but these are my favorite. Like the um, oh snap, <laughs> these are um, the fire and ice, you can call them blue and red. Uh, KDs they come like this, guys. They literally come like this. How? Because this shoe has this red tag right here, and then this one, the red shoe, has this um, blue tag on it. And yeah, these are the fire and ice. You can see like the fire coming from it, and then. Here's like the ice and the water and stuff. This, from both these shoes, this one's my favorite one. This one's my favorite shoe. This one is okay. It's just like, I honestly don't like, like red like that. I like blue a lot. So, this, this, is, this one's nice. So, guys, these are the, um, see right here, like, I play these in basketball games too. These are like, um, what you call it, um, sticky to the, ground so when you run like like connects to the ground you can like move around not slipping and stuff so these are some you should really call these these were um what you call it these were 75 to i got them on sale too these i got these on like a good sale because they're like 85 i got for like 76 99 and um these are size six and a, this size six and a half um these are, i got these like in fifth grade too I haven't worn these in a while though, so, yeah. And one of my friends told me I had a cop him because he had the same exact shoe, he loved them too. And I guess I like, I guess I like them too, so I just bought me one of these. So, here's the KD Fire and Ice. Uh, they look like some real old grandpa shoes. And, um, they, they are New Balances never worn, guys. I swear, I don't, it's not that I don't like them, it's just like, these were, these are, these are not worth being dirty because I really, really like. It's not that they're old. It's just like I like them. I really do like them to be honest. These are the New Balances. They have like uh, the Fresh Foam, um, Fresh Foam name right here. I got these from Academy because we were like finding like normal shoes just to wear. And like I guess I got these. You feel like the um, Bucky, not Blunky or something, but like. Like hard and um, you know, <laughs> like um, like the rough um bottoms and stuff. Here's the bottoms, sticky too. And here's the um, and for New Balance. And then in the soles it says fresh foam. That's kind of cool. And it says New Balance right here. So yeah, and the um, 
laces. I didn't even tie them. They came like this because that's how you know I haven't worn them yet. So, um, guys, here are the um, grandpa um, uh, New Balances. Next, you guys, these are the um, Adidas one I bought from also from Academy. These are really expensive. These were they, no, not really expensive. These were um, one hundred dollars. And I bought like another pair, but I'm not gonna show you guys because like I don't have them right now. They're at my dad's house. And um, these were a hundred. These were they are so soft. I haven't worn them yet. But I have like slipped them on just to see how they feel and how they look like. These are one of the like the best ideas I've bought. The only ideas I've had. Because like, you know, I really don't like rock with Adidas. Unless it's like a Yeezy, I'll definitely cop. But, you know, these are um, the Adidas, uh, what you call it? I don't know what you call these, but I have a box right there. The Adidas Comic 2 or something, I don't know. But yeah, you see like the stripes right here. The, fu the good thing about it, like the funny thing about it is like, they nodded, like, they like, I think like sewed it because like, Right here, you can see right here in the like uh, the shoe, it has like a um, black and white and gray silver. I think like they like like ties and stuff. These are nice too. Like you see like um, like plastic thing around it. And guys, the laces are I don't know how to them. And you feel like it's like hard part about it. And then it comes like straight out, like real out, and then uh, cloud foam says right here. And then um, the soles are nice. And then ad wear or something, like idea wear, idea wear or something. So yeah, here are the um, this part, this part right here is like, I guess how you feel them inside, because they feel the exact same way. But look, guys, um, here are the idea comic to them. And next shoe, um, I've worn, um, a couple times. These are real tight on me, so I might give them away to somebody if you're lucky enough. Um, these are my Air Force Ones, um, I don't actually call them, I forgot the name of it, but, um, these are my Air Force Ones. I'm gonna get the all-white low-top ones sometime later this year. Um, yeah, I got them dirty right here. It was like all burning and dirt and stuff, and I got very so I just cleaned them out. These crease, like, not that much, but like it creased. And you see like the black Nike logo here, and um, the black, the black um, the black um, Nike Air, just the name of it, and then the laces. Like I kind of messed up laces, cause they were supposed to be red, and they like turned all the stuff. But you see, like the uh, scrap, I guess you call it scrap. And you see, like basketball and like I guess stars and earth and stuff. I don't know, guys, but like these are nice shoes. You see the air right here, the lines coming through. And you got like the uh, normal type of Air Force, um, Air Force soles. And then you can feel inside, like they're hard, to be honest. You gotta take the soles out because they're getting small. So I just ripped them off and just like wore them. Here's some nice shoes though to be honest with you. So here are the Nike Air Force ones. Ooh. Can't keep them still. Hi guys, um next shoe, you've already seen them before. Um did my first video on them. The um Jordan 13 uh weeks. I wore these a lot to be honest with you. I wore these a lot. I keep them clean most of the time. But, like, they got, like, gray stuff over it. Like, you can see closely. Like, they got, like, gray stuff over it. And then I walked in the rain with them. And, no, it wasn't raining. But, like, it was, like, puddles and stuff. And I stepped on and, like, this part right here got, like, black and stuff. And then, you guys know about this, um, Jordan thing right here. And then, over here, over here, what I didn't notice in the first video was the X, X, um, X L L L. Yeah, I don't know, but like this part, I finally uh, found out what it was. 
it was like the 23. It looks like a 26, but it says 23. And then the Jordan uh, logo on it. So, yeah, I found out what that means. And then, uh, yeah, the soles. These are comfortable to wear. These are heavy, though, like, to be honest. When you're like, these are a size 8.5. And, and these were heavy when I first got them. When I was walking down them, I was, I was like walking. I had to pick my foot up and up and up and up. They were heavy. So, yeah, um. Here the, I'm not going to say too much about them, because you, you can go watch the first video for yourself. But, um, yeah, here are the Jordan 13 weights. Guys, I really don't wear them as much as most of my other shoes. But, um, these are the Air Maxes, um, oh, the Air Max, Nike Air Maxes. These creased real fast when I first wore them. Yeah, I got these from uh, the Nike outlet when they, uh, on St. Augustine, when they had sold them, when they started selling them and stuff. I forgot when this, because my dad had bought them and then he told me that he got them from there. And then, like, you see, the normal, this is like the normal type of um, Nike uh, Air Max. And um, I don't know what to say about these, but you can see the Nike logo just faded into like this blue part here. And it says like Air Max right here. It says right here too. And then you got like the I don't I don't know how to say about this because these are like some unique shoes. And then uh the Nike Air logo on the back. Yeah, so um I really can't say too much about these shoes because these are like one of the most different shoes I've seen like in a long time. And these are some pretty old shoes. Cause back in the day these were like these were Stuff. Like, if you bought these, you would just kill for one. And I finally got them. And my sister had wrote on these Dina on it. I don't know why she did that, but um, yeah, so here's the, the Nike Air Maxes. You guys, my dad had bought a couple of days ago um, from Academy because, you know, we just buy like shoes and shoes. Like, you know, to be honest, I don't even like care about I care about shoes, but I don't care about the shoes we bought for Africa. So, here they are, um, these are Nike something, Nike Air First Soleil II or something. These are good shoes, I would, I would really buy them if I were you, because if you're like a basketball player, for like a blue team or something, I would buy these, to be honest. I'm trying out for basketball in these if I just like don't get them dirty. So you see like the Nike sign right here. You got some type of like thing right here. And they like like just like this. It has like the same thing. And it's really like when you walk on, we just like like because you're like always like tipping over and stuff. So yeah, these are some nice shoes. Um, Nike logo, black Nike logo right here. And like this is part of like real soft Nike logo right here. And um, the air right here. These are some nice shoes, guys. If I was a basketball player and I was you, I would buy them. To be honest with you. These are comfortable, too. Especially when you're, like, trying out and stuff. So, I would buy these, guys. These are the Nike Air First Selling LL or something. So, yeah. Here they are. Guys, these are the most important shoes that my dad had bought. Not for me, but for one of my cousins. His, um... I don't get too much to it, but just know, like, something happened to, him, to his mom and stuff. So, he's only, like, probably, like, 12 or 13 or something. We're going to Africa just to see him, my dad's side of uh, the family. And, um, you see, uh, so here, like, LeBron's, they, we didn't do too much for them, because we didn't want to buy them too expensive shoes, because in Africa, like, you know, he's going to get them dirty and stuff. Because he's young, you know. He got some small feet for, like, a 13-year-old. And, yeah, here, like, here's a uh, LeBron logo. And, um, the Nike sign right here. And, like, the shoelaces. Like, the bottom of it. I haven't seen the bottom of it. Now that I look at it, it's nice. So, yeah, you got, like, uh, like, honeycomb. You know, like, when you go to, like, a, um, Anything these or stuff. You 
these like those things right there. Yeah, that's what that's what they remind me of. And then here's the uh, LeBron logo here. Yeah, I can't say too much about these shoes. Like you, you then you have like the Nike Zoom right here. So yeah, these are really special shoes to give him because like he's been going through so much in his life, and I really I really think he's gonna like be real happy once we give him these shoes. So guys, yeah, here are the um, LeBrons that were giving my uh, cousin. Yeah, yeah, here, here they are. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Follow my Instagram. Um, add me on Snapchat once I get it back because I guess I got hacked or something and I can't find it anywhere. I try logging, but my um, my thing, my password won't go in, so I could keep trying to. I see things that I remember. So guys, go add it for me. It's um Parian X Kid. P A R O D No P R P A R D O N X K I D D. And follow my um my Instagram at Almighty J A L M I G T Y. And then no nothing else, just G G H I T Almighty J. So guys, yeah, that's the video. Um, go follow, go um, follow me on Twitter at Party Kid. I think, yeah. Um, go follow me there. Add me on House Party at uh, Party Kid. Um, two times two X. So yeah, that'll be all in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you had a hope you had a good time watching this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.